Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MariaDB 11 version on RHL 9. The installation process is same on all RHL versions. So open terminal, verify whether do we have any MySQL or MariaDB. sudo systemctl status MariaDB. See I don't have, we can also check the MySQL, MySQL D. See, we don't have the MySQL service also. So open Firefox, go to MariaDB official website, that is MariaDB.org. See here, the latest stable version is 11.3 and this is the release candidate, okay. So click on download or click on download. So click on this download button. Click on OK. Click on MariaDB repositories. Scroll down. Select the distribution. It is RHL. So, see we have the RHL 7, 8 and 9. Select the 9 because I am on 9. Then select the version. See here we have the versions from 10.6 to 11.3. So, select the latest version 11.3. Then we will get the script. So, first go to this folder. Copy this one, go to terminal, cd, paste it, ls, c, we have the redhead.repo, so create this file, copy this one, then sudo vi, paste it, you can use nano also, that's fine, hit enter, press i to insert mode, then copy all these lines. Copy it, right click, paste it, escape, press escape button, then colon, wq, exclamation, okay, hit enter. Now run the sudo dnf update. It is done. I will keep this link in the video description, okay. So next copy this command to install MariaDB server and client, okay, paste it, hit enter. See it requires 239 megabytes, so press Y and hit enter. See it is going to install MariaDB 11.3, so type Y and hit enter. Type Y and hit enter. Again Y, hit enter. See, installation has been completed successfully. Now verify control add to clear screen. Now verify sudo systemctl status MariaDB. See MariaDB is installed but service is not started and also it is disabled. Okay, so Q to quit. Now let us start it. sudo systemctl start MariaDB and hit enter. Verify again. See now MariaDB service is active and running, okay, and but still service is disabled. Q to quit. Let us enable it. Why we have to enable is whenever RHL machine reboots, every time we have to manually start the MariaDB service. So to avoid it, we have to enable the MariaDB service. sudo system ctl enable MariaDB. Hit enter. It is done. Control L verify again. See, service is enabled and it is running. Q to quit, control L to clear screen. Now we will see how to connect to MariaDB server. Sudo, give the MariaDB. Hit enter, 
I haven't provided the password. So the first step after connecting is we have to set the password for root user. See, this is the MariaDB version. Okay. So alter user root. We have to give root in single quotes. Local host identified by you the password for the root user. T success exit and connect. This time we are going to connect by using MariaDB hyphen u root hyphen p and provide the new password. See we have successfully connected. Control L to clear screen. Now let us see the list of the databases. Show databases. See I have these databases comes with installation of MariaDB. Okay. Control L to clear screen. Create a database. Create database after schools. You can give any one. See database is created. Show databases. See new database is added. But also notice here. Here it is showing none. Which means no database selected. So to connect to any one of these databases we have to use. We have to use the command use then database name. I am giving after schools. See. Now whatever the commands that we are going to perform those will be executed on this database. So control L to clear screen. So create a table in this database. Create table student then provide the column name and data types. Put semicolon hit enter. I forgot to give the primary key hit enter see we have successfully created let us verify the table show tables see we have the table name with student okay so and let us insert some data into this table insert into table don't give the table give that name of the table student values 100 james put semicolon one row inserted, insert one more row. Hit enter. Now verify the data. Select star from student. See, we have inserted two rows. And verify the list of the users. Select user from MySQL dot user. I think. See, these are the default users. Comes with the installation of MariaDB. So let us create a user. Create user James identified by provide the password for this user. We have successfully created user. Let us verify. Okay, see new user is added. Okay, now we will see how to stop, start, and restart MariaDB service on RHL. So exit. Control L sudo system CTL stop is used to stop the MariaDB. So provide the service name. Hit enter. Now try to connect to MariaDB. After stopping, MariaDB hyphen u root hyphen p. service is not started so let us start and try to connect sudo system ctl start maria db now try to connect see we have successfully connected to maria db last command that we will see how to restart use the same start replace the start with restart hit enter verify again MariaDB service is restarted 7 seconds ago. Quit to quit. Control L. So in this video we have seen how to install and configure MariaDB on RHL line. Then we have seen how to connect to MariaDB. Then we have seen after that we have seen how to set the password for root user. Then we have seen how to stop, start and restart MariaDB service on RHL 9. But the process is same for all, all RHL versions. Okay. For more MariaDB MySQL R Linux tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.